Hey Internet, Beaver Chip here. Uh, this is part four of the tutorial on how to build this large combination lock um, security system. We've already talked about um, an overview, the yellow section, the green section, and now we're talking about the blue section. This is um, a large, more advanced memory cell. Um, we are going to build it step by step to the side. Um, I just want you to know we're starting over here at the input which comes from the um, the green pulse that we showed last video so that green pulse signal comes into this block and this is where we're going to start our build right here is on this green block alright there's the green block I was talking about uh, this pressure plate here for now will simulate that um, pulse signal coming out of the green area uh, but we're just going to do this step by step um, and I'm going to build in blue for the memory cell. Uh, the first thing you need is um, two blocks to the right of the torch here and two blocks to the left. Um, a block with some redstone wire going into it. So it's from the torch to these two blue blocks. And those two blue blocks get a redstone torch on each side. And we're going to start building out from this right hand block here. I'm going to come out one redstone uh, wire piece and place another blue block. block. And then we're going to turn this square right here into one of those small memory cells. So we have uh, two blocks set at a corner to each other with one block in the middle. And redstone torches on the inside faces. and redstone completing the square there. So that's one of those little memory cells we've seen a few times. Now we're going to connect the other end of this memory cell to the left hand torch there. So I have left hand torch going into one side, right hand torch going into the other side, and we'll grab the output here. Um, so that's the first step. Now we're going to connect the output back into these first blocks. Uh, so right here, I'm going to start connecting it back. I put a repeater here just because it's the wire gets to be too long and um, I need to make the signal longer. So that repeater is set to level 1 it's just to extend the length of the wire. And coming around to the other block. I'm going to put um, an inverter here. So if you watched my earlier videos you know what an inverter is. It's just a block with a redstone torch on the back side. And connect that into the first block there. So that's pretty much the basic setup of the large memory cell, that blue area over there. Um, this output signal could go right to your security door uh, or your piston if, um, you, if that's all you want. Um, but if you want um, more than just a door or a piston, like over here I have set up a door and a piston, um, for this I had to do two big memory cells. So I'm going to go down below and show you that this is the exact same build down below um, it just has gone downstairs a bit alright now we're downstairs you can see above me that's the memory cell that was upstairs and now this is my second memory cell downstairs uh, this one's hooked up to the steel door up there um, it's pretty much the same build um, the only thing I did with this one was do I did the mirror image um, so you notice the repeater went on this side and the inverter went on this side and the uh, small memory cell got linked in first to the left block and then to the right block. I did this because um, it uh, I wanted the door to open when the um, pistons were going down. So um, you can play around with it if in your case um, if you're trying to build exactly what I build just know that the one downstairs is the mirror image of the one upstairs and 
that runs up into the security door. So now uh, you've seen how to build the components, um, but I haven't really shown you how to link them together. You'll notice like this piece of yellow wire here I didn't even talk about in the yellow section. This piece of green wire here I didn't even talk about in the green section. So I'm going to go over real quick how it all links together. Um, going back to the first piece, the yellow uh, combination lock. We said that this was the signal that is on if uh, the whole common, all the levers are correctly aligned. So this signal um, is what determines if the security door should go up or if the um, steel door should open or close. Um, the way I have it set up here, I'm going to look at the top only right now. Since the combination is wrong, um, it runs through this inverter, sends power into um, this side of the large memory cell, and stops this torch from turning on. That stops the um, in this case it stops the security door from closing since this is hooked up to the security doors which um, once turned on we don't want to be able to turn them off so the combination lock signal since it's off the inverter stops it from um, shutting this or, or turning down the security um, the way you're going to build this is just run a signal straight from your combination output through an inverter and that inverter is linked into the uh, this side of the memory cell and the other direction I have it going here so that wire goes around the other side not through an inverter it needs a repeater because the wire length is too long it goes over top the green wire and it goes um, into the other side of the memory cell. Um, what this says is if the combination lock is correct, um, don't let this redstone torch activate. And if this one can't activate, then the security doors cannot go up. So if the combination is correct, it'll stop the security from turning on if it's off it'll stop the security from um, turning off all right now I'm gonna go downstairs and show you how the combination lock is hooked up to the second memory cell because it's slightly different um, if this signal is turned on that means that the combination is correctly aligned right now it's turned off that means the combination is incorrectly aligned that once run through an inver inverter comes into this side the repeater side of the large memory cell and that keeps this torch from activating which keeps the uh, steel door the entrance to my vault from opening so I'm gonna run that combination lock signal through an inverter and um, run that inverted signal directly into the repeater side of my second memory cell down here. So that's it for the um, yellow wire connecting to the blue wire. The only other real connection um, between um, colors here is where the green connects to the blue and you already kinda see it when we built that um, the large memory cell down there and I had the green block at the end um, the green block is where the pulse signal comes in. So if we remember when we press the button, we got that short half second pulse. Um, that half second pulse goes into, goes, you can kind of see it goes under the yellow blocks here, it goes right into that green block. And that green block is the beginning of um, the large memory cell or the blue blocks. Uh, so it really, it just runs straight in to that, um, what ends, it's actually an inverter but you run that green wire straight into the inverter which um, kicks off the memory cell and downstairs you're going to see the exact same thing I just ran it down below and um, 
again straight into an inverter which then links into the large blue memory cell. Um, so that's kind of it for connections. Once you break it down piece by piece it's really not as daunting. If I zoom back and look at the whole thing at once then it looks kind of crazy and ridiculous but if you watched every video in this series hopefully you're able to build the whole um, project. I would, what I'd really like to see though is um, improvements on this. I know that this is not the most efficient setup. I mean I took ideas from other people and improved on them um, but even so this um, system is fairly uh, slow to react. So um, if you can make a better, faster um, thing that has the same functionality as mine, I'm all for it. I'd love to see it. I'd love to hear about it. Um, so post response videos, that kind of thing. If you want a closer look at something in this, um, I can try. And, I know I didn't do a great job making these videos. I kind of rushed through them, but um, I can remake videos as well. So let me know what you think. Um, and again, thanks for watching. Uh, I guess that's it.